So today I'm gonna do the Independent Bookshop Week tag. The Independent Bookshop Week is happening in the UK this year from the 18th to the 25th of June. It's meant to celebrate authors, books and of course independent bookshops. It's been a while since I've lived in the UK but I've stumbled upon this tag on YouTube and I think it was a cool tag to do and it's always nice to celebrate independent bookshops. So this tag was started by Will at the Vintage Vlog. I will link this video down below. Let's go to the questions. First question is, what books are currently in your bag? Let's see my bag and I've got Wicked. It's the book we are reading in the book club I'm part of next month. So we're discussing this and I, I'm still at the very beginning and I'll review this next month in the channel. Question number two. What's the last great book you read? That was Romantic Outlaws. I've already reviewed this in this channel. I'll link the video down below. Question number three. What book have you gifted the most? I'm not sure. I think I've I always tried to give different books to different people. I think books are very personal. Probably Pride and Prejudice. I think I've given this to at least five different people. Question number four, what's your favorite independent bookshop? That's the easiest question of all. My favorite bookshop in the world is Buchanese in St. Andrews, Scotland. Just down Market Street, if you're ever, ever in St. Andrews, go there. It's a wee bookshop. It's lovely, very cozy. The owners are great people. It's just lovely, really. They sell old and antique books. You can find most anything there, really. Question number five. What's your favorite book recommended by a bookseller or a fellow YouTuber? It was probably Sunset Song by Louis Grossekeben. This was recommended, actually it was given to me by my friend Bill, who is the owner of Bookneast. Lovely Scottish novel, really highly recommended. Question number six, what's your favorite bookshop memory? Well, it's hard to say. I mean, I don't have one specific memory. I, I think all the afternoons after class when I was living in Scotland and I would go to the bookshop and just spend the entire afternoon there browsing the bookshelves, talking to Bill and Laura over coffee. I literally memorized that shop, I could tell you where each book was, seriously. Question number seven. What do bookshops mean to you and what do you love about them? I love that bookshops can be a safe haven for when you want to have a quiet moment and just enjoy a little bit of solitude and just browse the books by yourself. But you can also have fun with friends who are also bookworms, chatting over books and recommending books to each other. I have had lovely moments with my friends. My friend Deborah and I go to bookshops in basically every city we are together. It's always a pleasure to go to a bookshop. Question number eight, what are the books that made you? I'm just gonna go with most everybody here and say Harry Potter because I definitely would not be who I am today if not for Harry Potter. But also I owe a lot to Meg Cabot and her Princess Diaries and Mediator series. While gl grown up, I did spend a lot of time with them and they certainly helped me grow into who I am today. And of course, all Austen novels. <laughs> I definitely would not be me without Austen. Question number nine. What book do you recommend readers gift for Father's Day? Well, I really can't recommend a specific book for Father's Day because I think Again, books are a very personal presents, so it really depends on your father's preferences. Like, my dad doesn't really read. I've tried giving him books plenty of times and he's never read a single one of them. So I've given up. So really, I don't know. <laughs> Question number 10. What book is currently top at your to-be-read pile? Well, right now, my, on my to-be-read pile, given this tag, I think it's the bookshop book by Jen Campbell and I've bought this quite a while ago and I think this is the time to read it. 
I hope you guys liked this. I had fun doing it. And if you want to do it, I'll leave the questions below. Even though Independent Bookshop Week is only happening in the UK, I think it's important to support and celebrate independent bookshops everywhere in the world. I'll see you in my next video. Happy reading! Bye!